Hello and welcome to How To Automotive. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how you use your downtime to be a better automotive technician, so stay tuned for that. So like I said, we're gonna talk about how you use your downtime, and we're gonna talk about how you can either use it for the good and move forward in your career, or use that downtime for the bad and hold yourself back. So we're gonna get started by talking about, you know, if you're a young tech starting out, you're not making much money, you're on salary, you're not a commission-based mechanic, you wanna move up. Well, if you're using your downtime, just standing around waiting for the boss to tell you what to do, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to get those opportunities to move up. So if you take initiative and you show that you're wanting to learn and wanting to work and wanting to be a part of that crew and, and be a valuable member by either sweeping, mopping, uh, asking questions, you know, asking for your next task. Don't just wait around sitting there doing nothing. Like, hey, hey, service writer, um, uh, um, I'm out of work right now or I'm, I'm in between jobs right now or tasks. What else do you got for me? Is there something I can do to help the shop run smoother? Whatever that case may be. So what they're gonna see is a guy or girl putting the effort in and when the opportunity comes, and when the opportunity comes, they're gonna say, all right, you deserve a chance to work on this next level of job. And you're gonna move up a lot faster. And that's just there at the shop now. Also, if the if there's absolutely nothing to do, you could use that downtime to study. To study uh, ASE prep, prep test. Uh, you can use that downtime to look up and see what's available as far as uh, training out there. Uh, it's simple to do. All you have to do is do a, a simple Google search and, and and search your area that you live in and all the classes that are available around you should you should find those on Google or you can ask around uh, other technicians local community colleges all those are all great resources to get training in your local area so if you're a flat rate technician the best way to increase your hours is to stay busy so there's a lot of, I see a lot of flat rate technicians they just they they get a job they bang that out but they're not in the biggest hurry to run and go get the next job, you know, the next ticket. They take their time. They may go on the long test drive uh, instead of the quick route around the block. You know, um, they, they're not really there to work. They just want to make a paycheck. And if that's not you and you want to make more money, the best way is to fill your downtime. So if you're waiting on parts, you can use that downtime to uh, inspect another vehicle. Maybe you might not get that work that day because you got too much work that day, but you did an inspection and now you're selling work for the next day then, or next week and you're keeping your flow going. So, you, so your downtime is a lot less. And now you don't have to kill yourself at all these tasks and stuff. You can just one job, but at a steady pace, move to the next job. Steady pace, move to the next job, you know. So keep your work day flowing. So if you find yourself hanging out or just doing nothing, uh, you know, uh, you know, try to figure out ways to step it up and find out, find work in your shop. So, so another way you can use your downtime is to pull maintenance on your shop. So uh, if there's absolutely nothing to do for you to make money at the shop, uh, you can make sure that your shop is ready to go for when those times come. So if there's something wrong with a rack or if there's the brake lathe needs the belt on the back needs adjusting any of those type of things if you do those things on your downtime and keep the shop in tip-top shape keep your tools in tip-top shape when those uh, times when the work does come back you are ready to go and there's no waste of time when you go to use a brake lathe and it doesn't work because of maintenance issues and you could have done that when you were just standing around two days ago you know so those type of things will bite in the butt if you do those maintenance things when you slow down as fast as you can do them you'll be in a much better shape i'm brian Nessa from how to automotive i'd like to thank you guys for watching encourage you to subscribe invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this thank you again for watching